for starters and in open protest, this is how charged the studios of GBC's breakfast show was when leadership of both the junior and senior staff unions appeared for an opportunity to air their grievances about decisions by the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission to cut some allowances of the already difficult salary condition. Reason given is that this is part of the current national payroll monitoring ongoing. This led to a hold on transmission of the breakfast show for about 35 minutes after some consultation with the acting director of television, Mr. George Lomote, following which the union groups allowed the show to continue. In an interview with GBC News, leaders of both the junior and the senior staff unions, Mr. Samnat Kevo and Mr. Tahiru Abdul Razak Mohammed spoke about the reality of the situation. If today our salary, people are work, working from La Paz, Airport Junction, North Kaneshi, to come to work, eh? and you are now going to take those little allowance from them, you could imagine, you could imagine impact on people's family, marriages, education, health-wise. So, such things. Anyone who looks at GBC's workers as if it is a crime to work in GBC, we deserve better. We have contributed immensely to the democratic dispensation of this country, and GBC should not be taken for granted. If anyone has a personal agenda with GBC, that person to shelve it. GBC is bigger than everybody. GBC is Ghana. The soul of Ghana is GBC. The spirit of Ghana is GBC. Let's speak to you. About 33% of my salary has gone down as compared to last as compared to last month. Are you saying you think I should sit down? I should sit down. 33% of my salary. 33 33 percent of my salary has gone down. Has gone down. I still have to sit down. Currently, the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, in collaboration with the Internal Audit Agency, is ongoing with a nationwide payroll monitoring exercise with the aim of developing and monitoring allowances and benefit of public service workers. In the case of GBC, the workers were not involved as per standard audit principles, but the corporation was only copied on April 5 about the impending adjustment in salaries starting with the month of May salaries per the proposed salary cut senior staff for instance might lose as much as 33% of their current salaries which is in disagreement with ILO's global salary protocols. Gifty AJ, GBC News, Accra.